welcome to another video on section access uh, as i mentioned earlier we are just going to take a look at the script in this video so let me take you straight into click sense you will be able to see here that when you design the table as i said for uh, section access i have created three columns uh, my first column is the user id column where i've mentioned the user ids of the users and then the access level so i have one administrator and two normal users and then the key column which specifies what type of data I would like to see for each of these. Now, when you create this, before you start the access table, you need to put in the keyword or the command section access. And in order to be able to apply these permissions, we are using section application as the command. And then you can see here I've created a second table. So the key column in my first user access table is also in the data reduction table. And then I'm linking this with a country and in my data model, I have a column that's country. So it's going to link into that column there in my data model. So what I have done is I've put in for the key one, it is a star. That means all the countries will be displayed for key two. It's Brazil, three is Ireland and four is USA. So in my table here, I have a user one that's at number two. So for number two, I will only see data for Brazil. I have a user at number three. So the number three will only display data for Ireland. That's how um, it's going to help perform the data reduction for us or uh, filter out or view only specific data to which the user has permission. Now, it's not necessary that you do this in two different tables. Uh, I could just put the country column in here, but then I have to meet the requirement that all the column names in the section access table have to be in uppercase. All the column names have to be in uppercase. So in order to meet this requirement, it, be it just becomes easier for me to put it into two tables. I have one key and the other one, uh, the second table is linking directly with country exactly the way it is in my data model. So I don't need to rename the columns. And I don't need to put in additional commands in my script. This one just helps me to get uh, through to my data directly as it is. So just remember that you have to start off with section access, put in your table for user access and then section application. If you have a reduction table like the one that I have designed, then you will need to put that after section application. What I also have here is load star inline. This is one of the ways of loading data manually into our um, data model. So when you don't have any file that already stores your data, you're just typing it manually into the script and you're doing a data entry from here itself, you use the load star inline. So this is a manual data entry, which is why I have put in records for every row one by one in this script. So this is the script for um, section access. I hope that this is helpful for you. And um, as I said, try out a basic example first and then you can add on to having more columns. If you want to omit some data, you can add um, the omit column here, just like that. And then put in the names of the columns uh, or the data that uh, you would like to omit for this particular user in your table. So there are a number of columns which you can take a look from the help and uh, you will be able to see samples as well of how to use that. For now, this is all I have for you, just a basic example of uh, section access. So I hope again that this has been helpful for you and you will be able to kind of get started uh, with working uh, with section access, not necessarily uh, doing very advanced features, but just doing a very basic section access first to try how it works in ClickSense. As I said, I prefer using ClickView. So if you find it really difficult to use ClickSense, and you do have click view available, you may just want to go through the wizard from click view and generate the script from there. And then you can just copy that script into click sense. The script is exactly the same for click view and click sense. So there's not much of a problem there. But if you're just doing it in click sense, then you're pretty much on your own. You will need to design the script completely or type it out manually yourself. All right. So that's all with section access. We're going to have one more last video where I'm just going to wind up here this uh, complete training and just saying a quick um, word of uh, closer with few references and links that you may find helpful for the future. So thank you so much and let's move on to the next video.